something attacked it. Um, um, let me see. This is, um, as you can see, basically it's a paper. It's got a plastic coating on it. Mm -hmm. And that's all it is, unfortunately. I don't know why our... It doesn't want to let go. You have to. Okay. Um, the government should have never let this product be in the market. Mm -hmm. um, that's 22 inches times about three pieces. Yeah. And, um, so I'm thinking like from here down, agree. I'd like to just party plank that. Yeah, sure. And you do exactly what you're doing is you do it in blocks. Uh -huh. So if we have one, two, three, four pieces, and let me see, an estimate will be fine. And there it is. That is under 12 feet. So it's four pieces times, well, that's four sticks of hardy. And that'll be five. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got, um, we have had this, we repaired it one time, really just sealing it up. It might be time to just do the panel. Yeah. So. And I might defer that, to all good. Or whatever garage door you like. Yeah. Yeah. Overhead. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Got some rot going on here and sure. here. Right. Um, and then um, okay. some planks here that need, need some replacement. At some point, it, it becomes so compromised that you have to replace the door. I don't know if it's there yet. Let me get a couple of shots. Because what has to happen is that is a little bit smaller and it's got a gasket. It should have one sticking in the side of it. And the bad part is the door like this, which I think is a 32. Let's see. Yep. 32 inch door with a half view. I think that runs about 250 from uh -huh. Home Depot. But what I would like oh, to do... Oh, is it pre-hung? <clears throat> it is pre-hung, meaning it will fit well. But, um, I would like to try and see if we can replace that little bottom. And let's go ahead and replace that little bottom. Okay. And once you start seeing rust here, mm -hmm. then it starts to become a little bit of a different ball game. Okay. So, I mean, we can... Rust-oleum? <laughs> well, we used to use navel jelly uh -huh. and rub it a bunch and, and try to get it, but it's been compromised. And if you're okay with a little bit of degradation to save the money on the door, I'm fine with it, too. Okay. But I would touch up a long time before I start replacing doors like that. Okay. And see, in a lot of these places, it's just... It's swollen up, so it's mm -hmm. it's not it's, doing what you, it needs to do. Can you uh, can you see the hardy here? There's a hardy board here. I think that's hardy. See the the, the difference in texture, Rain, yeah. or maybe not. I don't know. It felt like paper, but uh, this feels like paper. Ah, uh, it's easy to tell from the bottom. If we were lying on our back, uh -huh. you see how thin it is, and it's easy. You can tell the hardy board by the, the, the wood grain, uh -huh. um, but uh, you can really tell by the thickness. And it's drinking on the bottom, and um, the house painter needs to put a little bit more effort in the bottom of the boards because that's where the water goes and stays the longest. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> but you're right. But it's not rotted. Let's get a coat of paint on it. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Got some wicking going on there. Yep. And what we do is cut off about a foot. Uh huh. Is that you? Go ahead. Well, normally I wouldn't do this. That's fine. Except, that's fine. It's an unknown number. Oh. So, but I did have a craftsman that needed something. Um, and.